Hey guys, so today we went for round 100 on the final rack on World War 2 and this is honestly my third or fourth game playing <laughs> World War 2 and I planned this pretty badly. So I started the game at 10.30 p.m. As I'm currently doing this voiceover, it is 6.42 a.m. And hence why I didn't um, don't have live commentary. I'm sorry guys, it's just... I, for one, I was like, this is probably going to take a while. Two, this is going to be very hard, seeing that I've never attempted to go for a high round on this game. And the reason I never played this game before this year is because I had school and stuff on at the time. And also I had a girlfriend and somewhat of a life these days. <laughs> it's not looking good for me <laughs> in the in the having the life category. Uh, but yeah, going for round 100 in this was surprisingly very fun. Because I was like, maybe I shouldn't. It's very late. And I know by the time I finish it, it's going to get to what time it is now. But I was like, you know what? I'm not a pussy. <laughs> Wait, that's not sexist if I say pussy, right? I don't know. I don't think it is, right? I don't know. I don't mean it to be. I'm not a weak person. Weak person, let's just say that. Um, but yeah, here I get the cookies and cream. No, they're called the bacon and eggs. Oh my god, where did I get cookies and cream from? I think because <laughs> I was eating a block of cookies and cream chocolate before. Uh, this is the the step where you just like turn on the altar and stuff and then we end up getting the wonder weapon and then we have to do a few steps here we actually upgrade the wonder weapon to the green version i don't even know what the green version is even called i'm not gonna lie so we upgrade it to the green version we get the bacon and eggs uh we use this field upgrade honestly i'm pretty clueless with world war ii so i'm surprised it, it's actually not the hardest game in the world. It's it's actually very average. It's kind of a good level of skill. It's not too hard, but the bosses are kind of painful and they make it a little bit more difficult. The armor system's actually really good. It's it's actually a very well-balanced zombies game, I must admit. It just takes a little bit longer than I think, feel like it should. It, it's a bit painful in that matter. Just once you get past basically round 40, it's like, oh, this is... Well, yeah, I, I won't spoil anything. But uh, these uh, bacon and eggs are awesome because you don't actually have PhD in this game. So the fact that you spawn with PhD... Well, once you get the bacon and eggs, it's PhD automatically on. But there's one thing I will say about this game that I dislike. Pros well, there's two things, really. The first thing is the music. I don't think I've ever found a Call of Duty game's music to be, like, annoying. But in this, I actually had to, t like... Put my headphones off because i was playing for so long i guess that adds to it but it was very like jarring and it was it was quite borderline scary <laughs> i'm not gonna lie because i don't really get scared I n i've never gotten scared watching movies i don't really get scared in real life like i'll go for a run at midnight in the bushes that sounds very sketchy but like around my park you know and there's probably some homeless people around there with their knives out. like i don't get scared of that kind of stuff i get scared when I'm playing video games though, because I don't think it's the fear of the thing in the game killing me like in real life. It's like the fear that I'm gonna fail this challenge and then I'm gonna have to restart, if that makes sense. So when I'm panicking that I'm gonna fail the challenge and all I can hear is this freakishly eerie music, like I'm actually gonna get murdered in real life as well. <laughs> like it's not comforting because <laughs> I'm like, if I fail this, there's no video tonight. I can't like, I really wanted to get this video out before Vanguard because obviously Vanguard is very exciting and I just want to see the differences. And also because I've never gone for round 100 in this game. And this is the green upgrade thing, by the way. I, I, as you can see, I was pretty newbie with it at the start, but very cool, actually. D dude, this map's sick. I must admit, this map's actually really fun. And I get like this jester thing, which is the monkey bombs. I watched a guide and... I was doing a weird strategy. I don't know if it was the best strategy, but I think it was. So for the first 40 rounds, once I got set up, I camped in this room and I was using my cookies and cream. Oh my God. Bacon and eggs. Oh, now I want bacon and eggs, man. 646. I'll get some McDonald's after this, actually. Be fair. <laughs> and then go to bed. Sleep schedule messed up, but at least Vanguard comes up at midnight. Uh, but yeah, I was just using the bacon and eggs and also this wonder weapon and the trap so i'll show you what the trap does in a second the trap is best definitely makes this a lot easier you can kind of 
AFK a little bit, like, which means like you don't have to actually touch your controller for a little bit with the trap because it's just OP. But you do always have to be like somewhat aware. And then we get the uh, insta kill with the pistols, which was amazing here. And I think this is where the spawns are the fastest, or it might be the first room. I think the first room actually the spawns might be fastest if you leave two doors closed. But this room's pretty quick. Um, and I think the best benefit is also the trap, which is right there. And then also you can get ammo for the pistols because you can, I love this, I love this. You can literally pack a bunch of pistols twice, but it doesn't give you anything. It just gives you ammo, which I really rape. And then, so I, I kind of skipped quite a lot of this just to show you guys like the raw footage. And also because I had six hours of footage and I was like, do I really want to go through the whole thing? <laughs> Um, I, to be honest, I couldn't find, uh, I won't, I, I don't want to spoil anything. I'll tell you at the very end, but, uh, yeah, round 52 here. And this is the strat we did from 40 onwards. Uh, but I had my field upgrade, so I don't know what they're actually called in this game. And I don't really know what any of the other field upgrades even do, but this one with like the two bullets, uh, basically it just makes it so you can spam your weapon and it doesn't use any ammo. So infinite ammo for a little bit from like infinite warfare. Pretty good. Pretty good. And so I would just go in this kind of like tunnel here. I did leave a door closed, which I couldn't really show. And then I use this fire trap. So, and I get armor if I need it. Armor is huge. Save your, save your life so much. It's actually unbelievable. I really like the armor system instead of jug. It kind of just... Basically, like, if you die to zombies, you're pretty bad, <laughs> like, on this game, because the zombies just don't swing, it feels like. I shouldn't have said that. Don't worry. <laughs> Go on, bro. I, the ending, I just... Okay, okay, I've spoiled too much. But, uh, the bosses, they're a pain in the ass, man. They'll hit you from, like, five meters away. Honestly, they will hit you from five meters away. But because of the armor, they don't ever... They don't kill you very often. As long as you have tier 3 armor. I don't really know if it's meant to be called tier 3 armor. I don't really know how it works. Because I think the higher the round, the more armor you can get. I think that's how it works. But yes, you can see I'm literally AFKing. I'm not doing anything. I turned on the trap. And you sit in this corner. And you're just going to watch out for any zombies that come here. And then shoot them in the head. I don't think I did it correctly. But you can shoot them in the head. And then they will stop for a second. And then run back through the trap. It really doesn't do much damage. Run through here. Make sure you shoot your PPSH, which is on the wall right there. And if you get in trouble, make sure to always bring out your wonder weapon because it's a one-shot kill forever. So the PPSH is just on the left there. And then we run up here. I'm just getting some more ammo uh, points as well. I don't know why I said ammo. And then I run up and you just use the fire trap, which is actually a very cool trap. I kind of skipped it. Yeah, look at that. It's very, very cool. The PPSH is awesome in this game as well. I don't think it's that strong, but it's just cool. And we run back down and then we kind of just continue. Uh, sometimes I shoot back there to get more kills with the wonder weapon because they all spawn in the tunnel. But you run through here and then you hit the trap again and then go in this corner and then you're chilling, honestly. And this is what we did the whole time. And now we see we're on round 90. And this is where things get a little bit sketchy. So I had no ammo at this point, but every five rounds is a like dog round but they're not dogs they're actually these like weird zombies who are they're actually decent at the high high rounds i'm not gonna lie so i hit the trap and usually when you hit the trap with these things they don't actually come from that door there so i'm kind of just chilling i'm looking here i'm like oh, okay i'm not gonna die but i do know i've got no ammo in my wonder weapon so if i get trapped i'm dead and i have no jesters or whatever they're called in this game so i'm kind of chilling i only have nineteen thousand points by the way as well because traps and then i don't know where that zombie was was there a crawler or something because something blocked me uh but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and i'm sorry we didn't get to 100 but uh i just get comments sometimes if i title the video 90 i get a bunch of people commenting dude you spoiled the video like i would make it like intense or something at least so you're gonna get a black screen for a little bit here but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video